that's all like like everybody uh is always envious of people that have a lot of land to hunt and sometimes it's just like pain in the butt you know it's like you get you get screwed i hear, I hear a lot of guys that have those big uh they don't call them leases down there. They all call them like hunt clubs down south, and it's like a whole bunch of acreage. But it sounds like there's all kinds of crap that goes on on those those uh, hunting clubs down there too. There's a bunch of people on them, and they're just uh, not that a lot. Of... Up a good point. I mean, there's always some baggage that goes along with uh, private properties. You know, it's not your property. Whether you join a club, whether you go hunt somebody else's property, whether you knock on a door and get permission, there's always well, you can hunt, but but this, or, or you know, right. we've all heard the guy that says you got to shoot every turkey you see, or you got, you know, I don't want you passing on 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 does, or or uh, uh, I don't, you know, uh, you can't shoot this, or or you can't do that, or I don't want you here in the mornings waking me up. I don't, you know, yeah, blah blah blah. Stip- you know, there's stipulations always, on it, and sometimes they're really weird stipulations. I don't want to get into detail about the ones I had, or I'll piss people off that are listening that may have been involved with that but there's always stipulations where when i go on public land it's my rules right as long as i follow the laws i do whatever i want is if yeah. this is somebody off that's their problem yeah. they can do whatever they want yeah it is always free like um yeah and, and he 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 would laugh at it but the farmer that owns the farm i'm on it seems like i don't go down there that often you know and uh and he doesn't either, you know, he's, a, he's just farms it. he's not, he's not like there every day, but it seems like every time I go down there, I'll park somewhere and he'll, he'll end up needing to get like a, for some weird reason in the middle of the winter, he'll need to like get a big piece of machinery through the, the driveway or something. And I'll be parked there, you know, I'm like, gosh, I'm sorry, man. I'm like, I, and we don't have service for him to call me. And I'm always, I always just feel bad. It's like, gosh, here I am holding him up. Um, not on purpose. And he's like, yeah, he goes, he goes, I don't, he's like, I ain't been down here in two months, you know? And I'm like, Oh, I haven't either. It just seems like all that little, those little things like that happen where you don't have to think about that stuff on, uh, on public land. And yeah. the same things happen on, on public too, as they do on private. I mean, I don't know how many times I've been sitting on a piece of private and the farmer's cows were out or something. And then all of a sudden your deer hunt turns into herding cows for the farmer or, um, you know, or they, you know, decide to come in and start just mowing something for no reason, you know, or whatever. Um, yeah. Yep. I'll never forget when I was in high school, my dad owned, uh, my dad owned 40 acres and he sold it to this neighbor guy that lived next to the property. And the stipulation was we could still hunt it, have sole rights to it. And, uh, I did kind of what we were talking about earlier, I, on this 40, was just a big CRP field and we had a small food plot down in the corner of it. And instead of parking up at the house where the guy owned it, which was a much shorter walk down to our tree stand, I parked up by the road and walked in. And, uh, of course he didn't know I was there then. Uh, and I had this really nice eight pointer coming in I had him on camera. I mean, it's like a hundred and you know, 30, 135 inch eight pointer, really good eight pointer. He was walking right down the middle of the CRP. He bedded in the CRP walking right down to my stand in the corner, only trail in the freaking thing. He's going to come right by me. And, uh, the, the farmer or the, the landowner for some reason, like started his tractor up and drove it around his pond once and then put it back in the barn and it spooked the deer away. Yep. And, and later on, I was like, oh, what are you doing? You know, he goes, oh, I just hadn't started my tractor in a while. I thought I'd start it up and buzz it around, get running a little bit. I'm just like, man. Yeah, but- I, I had I had one place that had a stipulation that um, the guy wanted to see anything you shot. He's like, if you shoot something, I want to see it. You got to yeah. stop here and show me. And that happens quite often. They'll tell you that, you know, uh, they might not hunt, but they're interested in what you're doing. You know, and uh, I always hate that one. I cringe at it. Because I can't tell you how many times I've seen people lose great farms because they shoot a big buck and they show the landowner. Landowner don't hunt or whatever, but the season is like, oh my gosh, I didn't know there was anything like that back here. Let me get a picture. Yeah. Pretty soon you get a picture with the, the, the farmer or he takes a picture of you with it or whatever. And all of a sudden, the next season or even maybe even the next day or two, he's got this cousin or this brother or this neighbor or this guy from church or something that he's been showing all these pictures to. Who hunts that he didn't even know hunted but it's a good friend of his you know and uh you, you lose spots yeah 
Yep. Happens all the time. Um, yeah. Typically all the farms that I hunt that are, are private is I hunt them because the farmer lets anybody hunt them. You know, that's, mm -hmm. that's the, the thing. Um, you know, even, even, uh, I have the one farm where I, I was by myself on it, you know, but, uh, you know, the farmer got married and, um, his father-in-law hunts, you know, so now, you know, which is fine. It is what it is. It's part of it. I don't, I don't own the place. Um, so you just never know what's going to happen. Um, and it would be even more frustrating if you were paying for it, you know, and, right. and that was happening. If you want to watch more videos, there's options here and here. And if you want to subscribe, you can just click right here.